Imagine if your monthly credit card bill suddenly ballooned, not because you bought more stuff, but because the interest rates shot up. Well, that's exactly what's happening with the US government. This year alone, for the first time ever, we're paying over $1 trillion just in interest on our national debt, which is now over $35 trillion. That's a staggering amount of money that could be used for schools, roads, or healthcare, but instead, it's going toward paying off the cost of borrowing. Today, we're going to explore why this is happening, what it means for you, and how it could affect the future of our economy and your wallet. Now, you may be wondering why is this happening? Well, the Federal Reserve has kept interest rates higher for a while now, trying to get inflation under control. When rates are high, borrowing becomes more expensive, and that applies to everyone, including the government. So, what's happening is the interest on the debt is piling up faster than ever before. Think of it like carrying a balance on your credit card, where only paying the interest is costing you a fortune, but you still haven't touched the actual balance itself. This leads us to the first big thing to think about. Every day, the US is paying about $3 billion in interest alone. That's $3 billion every single day, including weekends. Just a couple of years ago, that number was closer to $2 billion. But with rising interest rates, we've seen this huge jump in daily payments. So, it's not just a big number for the year. This is something that's growing quickly. And well, who's paying for that? You guessed it, all of us, through taxes and government spending priorities. So then, why does this matter to you? When the government spends so much money just on interest, that's money that isn't being used for other things like infrastructure, education, or healthcare. It also means the government may have to borrow even more to cover its other expenses, which just makes the debt larger. And larger debt means even more interest payments in the future. It's kind of like a cycle that keeps feeding into itself. Now, here's something else to think about. While the Federal Reserve will likely lower interest rates, that still won't solve the whole problem. Sure, lower rates could bring down daily interest payments a little bit. Right now, some experts are saying that a 1% rate cut could reduce daily interest payments from $3 billion to $2.5 billion. But, and here's the catch, the national debt is still increasing and future administrations are expected to keep adding to it. So, even with lower rates, the total amount of debt means those interest payments will continue to be a huge part of the budget. And, speaking of future administrations, there's a lot of debate about how much more debt we'll be adding in the years to come. No matter who ends up leading, analysts are projecting more spending and larger deficits. This is something that affects us long term, and while it's easy to think about it as just numbers on a page, it has real consequences for what the government can and can't do with its budget. So, where does that leave us? Well, managing this kind of debt is complicated. It's a balancing act between keeping the economy stable, managing inflation, and still making sure essential services are funded. And, while this might seem like something that's happening far away in Washington, it actually has a direct impact on all of us. Because the more the government has to spend on interest, the less it can spend on things that improve our everyday lives. In addition to that, we also need to think about how this impacts future generations. The debt we're accumulating now is going to be something that our kids, grandkids, and beyond will have to deal with. It's like passing on a financial burden, one that becomes harder to manage the longer it goes unchecked. Well, that's the big picture. Interest payments on the national debt have crossed into uncharted territory, and it's something we'll all feel one way or another. What can we do? Staying informed and understanding these issues is a great first step. And if you're interested in how this could affect you personally, whether through taxes, government services, or even the economy as a whole, it's worth keeping an eye on. Thanks for sticking with me through this. It's a huge topic, but it's one that's really important for us to talk about. Feel free to drop any questions or thoughts in the comments, and let's keep this conversation going. After all, these issues aren't just about today, they're about tomorrow too.